I accept your nomination for President of the United States. I accept your nomination for President of the United States. Winning the nomination is a landmark moment in the race for any presidential candidate. But hold on a minute. You only get the nomination by getting the support of delegates. They are sort of party grandees, important people who get to decide things at the convention. The number of delegates in each state is based largely on its size, so win the state and you win more delegates. The candidate who gets the majority of these delegates gets the nomination. The savvy trick is to win states that vote early in the primary process. Political buffs call it controlling the calendar. The first two states to vote are Iowa and New Hampshire. Honestly, they don't really matter in and of themselves. They're not very big, and they certainly don't represent America's diverse population. But a good showing in Iowa and New Hampshire creates a sense of momentum. And with that comes exposure. Win Iowa and suddenly you'll be all over television. It's great free publicity. Then there's the money. Getting the early states is sure to open the pockets of donors. And don't discount that intangible aura of success. People love a winner. And we go to South Dakota and Oregon and Washington. Although there have been candidates who've taken that whole success thing just a little too far. But if the candidate manages to keep their head while others are losing theirs, they make it to March, where the stakes and states and number of precious delegates gets bigger. This is where long-term strategy is crucial. A candidate can't be everywhere at once, and with a lot of states voting on the same day, how does a candidate decide where to focus their efforts? Here's an example. Texas and Vermont both vote on March the 1st. Texas has 155 Republican delegates. Vermont has only 16. Where would you choose to campaign? On March the 15th, Florida, Ohio and Illinois go to the polls. Analysts say that if we don't have a clear winner by then, this could be the decisive day for both parties. And after that, well, the process starts all over again. It's back to the states to get you enough votes to get you into the White House. Running for President of the United States is the world's biggest endurance test. Really, would you do it?